morning, Bruce Bruce. How you doing, buddy? You all right? <laughs> Can we not lick the turkeys, please, Bruce? This is the morning of the final concrete pour for the bottom row of the footers, which means that the hardest part of this project is finally over with. I think you can give it a swift kick to get it break the bust it off. Nah, I mean at least that's you gotta get these out of here first. I know, that's what it is. How big how deep are these buried? I don't know. Watch this. Nip, come on, watch this. Move, move. No, Jack. Bait! Oh, okay. <sighs> I mean, you ain't no Jake Mace, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Bait! Don't you have really, Josh? What? Really? I need them to hold on to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there you go. Probably. Why can't you just bury it? Can't we just bury it? Call your termites? Ah. One down, a hundred to go. But you can't count, girl. It's ten. Ten, right? It feels like a hundred, Josh. Poured the rest of the footers yesterday. Everything went great. We had one, I guess, start to buckle just a little bit and it started to blow out, so we stopped the pour on that one. When we get to uh, forming all the walls up for concrete, we'll pour the rest of that footer right there, but no issues anywhere else. Everything went great. So next step is we're gonna go ahead and backfill and get Aaron on this jumping jack and see how she does. Like 
that, Josh? That's it's done. <laughs> It went from chilly to sweaty with just getting two forms off and a couple karate kicks. You feed the pigs? Yeah, what? Um, they think the soldier soup. <gasps> and mommy? What? Something when. The, the uh, pig, uh, pig goes barking like a wolf, wolf like a dog. I know, they do bark like a dog, don't they? They're silly yeah. little pigs, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. In case you don't know, pigs bark like dogs sometimes. <laughs> it's true. So judging by the comments section, there are tons of questions surrounding why we're doing what we're doing. We had talked about it a little bit when we first started the project, but I don't think that it was very clear because a ton of people still have questions. So I'm going to do my best to explain exactly what's going on here and why we are doing it this way. So um, first things first, everything is good with our foundation, with the pier footings that we have in, they're solid, they're not slipping, they're not moving. There's no issue with that. And our insurance company is not asking us to change the foundation of our home everything is good there all they want is for us to close close it out from the underside so that there is no air no animals nothing that can get to the underside of the house and there's many different ways that we could do this i mean we could simply just put up like osb or plywood any of that kind of vinyl stuff skirting. vinyl skirting um, there's so many different ways that people have skirted the house however we're going for a particular look we've always wanted the bottom of the house to be closed in with stone we think it's going to look really nice it's just the look that we want for the house plus it is going to be rock solid we're not going to run into any issues have to replace anything or whatever down the road so that's the way that we want it to get done is that making sense so far? I think so. <laughs> so why didn't we do a different type of foundation in the beginning? That comes down to two things, which was money and time. Um, we were in a unique situation of actually living out here on the property while building the house and having very limited amount of time and money to get all of it done before winter hit us. This wasn't the sort of situation where we were living comfortably in a normal home on a different piece of property and watching this property be developed from afar. Had that been the case, we probably could have just put, thrown a bunch of money towards the foundation and then just let it sit until we had the money to go ahead and build the floor and put the roof on and all of that. Or I guess in that situation, we probably would have had a construction loan and then we wish, would have just had all of the money up front to make it happen. However, that wasn't the case. We were living here and we had about four months time to get the foundation put in and get the floor done, get the everything framed up, get the roof on, have it completely closed up before winter hit. In addition to that, we had three little kids living in an RV with us and we were not completely sure how winter was going to be in the mountains of West Virginia where we're living at because prior to this, we lived in Virginia different winters, different situation. We weren't sure how it was gonna play out. So our plan B, if we got hit with a really nasty winter, was going to be that we could move into a shell of a house that basically just had insulation in and we would be able to be warm. We could get a wood stove in there and things would be good. So it was money, time, and I guess safety, a fallback plan B for if we just couldn't hack it in the RV. Luckily, we were able to hack it in the RV and everything has been fine, but now we're at the point in the build where we need to go ahead and address the situation of closing it in under the house. So we're doing it. We want it done with concrete because there's not gonna be any better base to attach stone to than concrete. That concrete needs to be wide enough that we have a flat wall coming down for our stone to be attached to. And it also needs to be deep enough that we're not gonna have any issues once the ground starts freezing in winter time, rocking and cracking and that sort of thing. So, it's a lot of work. Yes it is. <laughs> but we knew the time was, was gonna come for us to do it. And uh, this is the way that it's just, it has to be done. I mean, there was no other option for us in the beginning. But, we get down with the most important thing about it is we we're doing it the way we wanted to do it to, so it has a look that we want it to have. Right. That's the most important thing. Yeah. 
it's going to serve the purpose that we need it to serve. Plus, it's just going to look nice. I mean, it's not going to We're going to have the look that we want. Right, it's we're not, not going to... We're not settling for a vinyl siding or purchase tree to plywood that's painted. We don't, we don't want that. We we've, want stone. We've put too much time and effort yeah. into the house to just slap something up there that could potentially throw the entire feel of the mm -hmm. home off. So does that make sense? Hopefully it makes sense. It's a lot of, we have a lot of questions on it and why we're doing it the way we're doing it. Yeah. So I'm trying to ex explain it, but there's just so many factors that kind of went into it. It wasn't just one, like there's not one simple thing. Like it's a mix of a bunch of different things. So I understand. So why are we do doing this again? I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> ask Chuck. He's the one that's in charge here. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, hold on. Do it again. One, two, three. Up. But how'd you get in a bathing suit? <laughs> I mean, legitimately, legitimate. <laughs> hey, Daddy, can I turn the hose on? Yeah, turn the nozzle right here. You're, you're good to go. We pull one piece out, we look over there, she's a full on bathing suit on. We turned around for two seconds. She's <sighs> in a bathing suit with the hose on. <laughs> in all fairness, it is supposed to get to be like 79 today, so. That's doable. <laughs> I'm just shocked she's in a bathing suit, that's all. That's all like, literally the last thing I was expecting to see when we turned around. Dogs barking tail. Three so. year olds. <laughs> Three year olds. You know, what can I say? <laughs> Best life, Chuck. Live your best life, buddy. So we're cleaned up. It's so much better. It's, a disaster. it's not done yet, though. It's not even close to being better. So we got well, yeah, we well, it the is. holes are still there, obviously. <laughs> Tamper time. Tamper time. <laughs> Who's operating, me or you? Well, I'm the professional here, as uh, I said. I do look like the professional, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's bogging down, like it's getting flooded. I don't think we've ever had a project that goes perfectly according to plan. Today's no different, but uh, I think you got it. I found a sweet spot. I found a sweet spot. Let's go. Sandpaper, what a guy's like sandpaper.
We're gonna tamp everything real quick. We're gonna bring everything down a little bit. We'll clean what we have left over, put it back on top, and re-tamp it again. And whatever we have do have left on top, we'll just back drag a little bit, get it flattened out, and scoop it up and put it in the pile in front of the house. The majority of everything backfilled and tamped down, which means there's only two on this side and one on the front before we can start framing, forming everything up to pour the concrete walls. We're gonna be doing this again with like this side, this half of the house, and then the other half of the house because if we do it all at once, it's just too much to take on and we end up being in too much of a rush with the concrete truck. So we're just gonna bite it off in little chunks so that we're not pushing the limit too much with our time. I'm gonna do the cookies out of the oven. Cookies? In the oven? Right, yeah. What kind? Chocolate chip? <laughs> no, sugar cookies for Halloween, like Halloween cookies. Those are gonna cookies. The no. kids and I are gonna put icing on them and decorate them. When? After I'm done shoveling, <laughs> I gotta wash the dog too. Wash the dog? Yeah, I mean, you, Chuck, are you gonna let Chuck on the couch for coffee with me tomorrow morning? No. Okay, then he's gonna get a bath tonight, right? It's your turn to scrub his back, Josh. Follow you anywhere this world takes you to wherever you're at. And just like the sun, Makes every morning count on me like that. Cause I love you forever and back. If it were up to me, time would just stand still. But it's not ours to keep. Follow you anywhere this world takes you to wherever you're at. And just like the sunrise makes every morning count on me like that. I'll love you forever and back. Forever. what you just did okay <laughs> just so everybody's clear here okay it was a dog again again Aaron okay <laughs> Josh. can't keep playing dog keep playing dog Josh. okay why Bruce <laughs> why <laughs> you ever heard of invading people's spaces <laughs> what'd you give him a little bite of an apple Is that good Yes. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Mary Josh, they said. It'll be fun, they said. I know, I put you to work. <laughs> 